and um, you can also join from there. But I just wanted to throw that out there for the few people who are asking. But um, I would love your, your, your comments on this, Lonzo. Uh, this is a pretty big story that's went viral this past 24 hours. Very interesting to me. And you being deep into hip hop roots, I'm curious to your point of view on this. Fat Joe went viral this week. And a lot of people are criticizing him for his remarks on hip hop. He said, and I quote, blacks and Latinos are responsible for creating hip hop 50 50. Now I know you were doing your thing on the West coast at the time, but what are your thoughts on fat Joe's comments? And do you believe that Latinos had just a big, a part in creating keyword, creating um, hip hop as black people did. I don't know about the creating part. Um, I know Kid Frost was right there. He was, he was, he was damn near day one. When I, on my first tour, I was standing next to, standing right next to Kid, Kid Frost. We've been buddies ever since. Um, there was, there weren't a whole lot of uh, Latino rap groups back in the day. And I know they were big supporters, like a motherfucker. Okay, because as world class wrecking crew, us most of the, most of the shows I did were for Latino group. Latino uh, uh, shows, concerts. Most of the shows I did were uh, for years, for I don't say for years, but for quite some time, most of the shows I did were for Latino audiences. So they definitely were a major support uh, when it came to um, accepting it and embracing it. That's definitely. Um, don't I can't say from the creative standpoint. I don't I don't know. I mean from LA, no. That was not the case in LA. Okay. Uh Kid Frost was there. Um uh, who else was there? Shit. Kid Frost was there for a little while there by itself. And then uh then Mellow Man Ace came along that I can recall. Then you had Brown side and you had uh brothers uh, um jump around. Jump around. Brown. Oh Brown. uh slow pain. Yeah. Thank you, folks. Um but they weren't, they never got, most of them didn't get as big um, as a lot of guys from New York did. You know, that's to keep, uh, uh, my, my boy, um, CMW, Mike T says, La Raza, yeah, that's my, that's, uh, that's um, Kid Frost one of his songs. But yeah, you had Slow Pain, Brownside, uh, a lot of folks, but a lot of these guys came in. And here again, when, when, when are you, th- you talking about the gangster era? Now the gangster era might be a little bit different. Okay, but the original creation of hip hop, I, I I would beg to differ, especially on the West Coast. Maybe on the East Coast it could be something different, but on the West Coast it definitely was different. Cypress Hill, thank you, thank you, uh, Steve. Uh, Steve oh, yeah, Bob. of course. Yeah, and, um, and I looked into it a little bit uh, deeper. I thought about this question being a hip hop nerd, and um, I because when I listened to Fat Joe, I, I I kind of agreed with him. And this just going by my my growing up, and I looked deeper into it. And when you, I'm gonna flip it to a different way, being that hip hop is four elements. There's four elements of hip hop. Most people would agree. Graffiti and b-boying, DJing, and rapping. Um, I feel like most, uh, most if not a lot of people are focusing on the rapping when, when Fat Joe says this. But now let's, let, let's talk about, you know, graffiti, DJ and okay. b-boying. Do you remember seeing a lot of Latinos around there? Cause then you, we, we're talking crazy legs on the East coast. We're talking, you know, certain certain guys like that now when i when you're flipping on the hip-hop side what, what are your thoughts now that changes everything um that changes that changes a lot right there um when you look up and you see uh you go you start talking about graffiti break dancing then that changes that whole perspective changes um i was speaking from a rap standpoint and i because i know even even in um your movies uh breaking or whatever it was a lot of Latino dancers there. My boy Shabadu, um, uh, Dominican, right? Was it Dominican or was he, uh, Puerto, Puerto Rican? He's definitely Spanish, yes. Puerto Spanish, Rican, I believe. Let's leave it like that. Uh, so, yeah, there was a lot of impact. But again, um, yeah, as far as the foundation and no- notoriety, it could be, uh, it's going to be the definitely from the graffiti because I don't, I don't know a whole lot of brothers really got into graffiti on the West Coast. There's, there are some graffiti artists. I don't know a whole bunch of them. And that was always something that was done from a different perspective. So uh, I'm going to have to leave that one. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave that one alone. Doc, I don't want to say nothing that's going to get my chat room fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, man, that's a def- definitely interesting conversation. The Watch Superhero says, Lonzo, I remember when you used to come to UCLA with Curtis Harmon for dances. Curtis Harmon. Curtis Who's that? Harmon. Uh, Curtis Harmon was a D- DJ buddy of mine. Uh, he left here years ago, moved to Japan, uh, got J- uh, dual citizenship in, in Japan. And uh, he was a very popular DJ for a while. He just came back a couple years ago. And um, he was a well, real popular cat back in the day. And he was he was a buddy of mine. So uh, a lot of uh, he, I did a lot of things. We did a lot of things together. And UCLA was one of those events that we did together. 